Can these boards get any affordable? I mean, here we have MSI EK Mana MIG Z690 Torpedo EKX. Quite a long name, but definitely something you'll be interested in. As you can see, we have another board that is based on the Intel Core 12th generation processor uh, with Z690 chipset. And it's quite interesting because compared to Carbon EKX uh, boards, we have something entirely different. And uh, we'll get to that part right after this. So right here we have the monoblock uh, and it's quite interesting because this is the thinnest monoblock I have ever seen and uh, it's quite interesting in few terms. Now as you can see this board compared to the Carbon EKX already has a passive heatsink on the VRMs and this monoblock actually complements it because you don't have to remove any of these you just place the monoblock on top of it and that additionally cools everything. This monoblock right here is something i would say a bit of advanced compared to the others just in terms because you don't have to remove the heatsink and gives you i would say a possibility if you decide to currently run it with some aio or uh, air cooler you can do that before the other parts for the liquid cooling arrive so you can place the monoblock now this monoblock is compatible with matrix 7 which i already explained in the z690 carbon ekx which gives you a, an exact alignment with the distro plates in cases and this gives you a possibility to run the pipes quite nicely without uh, bending uh, or doing too much work and they all go by increment of 7 so 7 14 and 28 giving you loads of possibilities to adjust the pipes quite nicely in parallel so yeah that's quite cool now let's talk about this motherboard in more details throughout the whole build you have some sort of a gray blue combination going on and that's quite nice as I stated with the smaller block we have the EK light block which utilizes the new velocity 2 water block cooling engine and as I stated it doesn't replace the stock heatsink but instead uh, let's say complements it gives it more meaning now they also eliminated parts from the standard monoblock design which makes the production cost more optimized and such design provides uh, sufficient active cooling for the vrms enabling this motherboard to compare it with higher class also the base of the monoblock is made out of nickel plated electrolytic copper while the top is made out of quality cnc machine cast acrylic glass material now there's also one thing the monoblock has a three pin addressable rgb header so it lights quite nicely talking about the motherboard we have the msi mig z690 torpedo which features 16 plus 1 plus 1 duet rail power system with the digital pwm ic and 16 duet rail power system with 70 ampere smart power stage make sure that system runs smoothly we have a six layer PCB board with two ounce thickened copper and the PCIe steel armor protecting uh, your graphic card against bending and EMI for better performance. On two M.2 slots we have the M.2 shield frozer which uh, keeps the temperatures of your M.2 stable and prevents uh, thermal throttling. You have the possibility to fully control your fans in BIOS and software. Then we have the Frozer AI cooling, which detects CPU and GPU temperatures and automatically adjusts the fan duties, which is quite nice. And we also have Pump Header Ready, which is optimized for water cooling. It's designed to support the most popular AIOs or customized water cooling solutions to regulate everything perfectly. Now, it supports Lightning Gen 5 PCI Express slot, which represents bandwidth of... Uh, times 16 interface to 128 gigabytes per second which is double the speed of the previous generation of course also smt pci 5.0 slot which msi motherboards adopted the advanced surface mount technology 
uh, to diminish interface and electronic noise fully supporting high bandwidth and faster transfer speeds. It supports DDR5 memory up to 6400OC, Core 6 up to 128GB, uh, then we have 6 SATA ports, uh, 6 gigabits uh, per second, we have 4 M.2 slots, 3 are 4.0 times 4 and 1 is 3.0 times 4 then we have IO ports, uh, first uh, let's start with DisplayPort 1.4, then we have HDMI 2.1 port, 2 USB 2.0, we have USB 3.2 generation 1, 5 gigabits per second type A, 2 of those, we have also flash BIOS button, then we have USB 3.2 generation 2, 10 gigabits per second type A, and USB 3.2 generation 2 times 2, 20 gigabits per second type C, 2.5G LAN port, and last we have HD audio connectors. Now taking into consideration that we have a monoblock that can be placed on the motherboard quite nicely and quite easily without any problems, cooling the VRMs, and everything uh, even though you already have passive heatsink and with the price and everything they lower down compared to the Carbon EKX this is a quite nice budget motherboard for water cooling I would say and especially with everything that you get inside the box it's quite nice now uh, talking about uh, connectivity as I already stated you have one RGB header and three addressable RGB headers, two 8-pin for your EPS, for your processor, one 24-pin uh, for your motherboard, six times six gigabits SATA ports, four M.2 slots, seven PWM jacks, uh, USB 3.2, USB 3.0, uh, loads of connectivity for your storage and everything else. Now taking into consideration all the Carbon EKX motherboards that I did and covered so far and I always did a nice liquid cooled build uh, as well as on the Z690 Carbon EKX I'm going to do that as well on the Torpedo EKX. So it's going to be quite interesting and I already see a color scheme going with this motherboard which will definitely complement uh, the whole uh, design of the board and make it look nice. If you're looking for affordable motherboard that supports water cooling, especially in terms of Matrix 7 and how it's easy basically to connect the pipes, the tubes and to actually water cool your system, I would definitely suggest this one because of the price and the performance and everything this motherboard can give you in return. So I'll place the links below for you guys to check out the price and maybe some other details that I might have skipped so you might know some more information. And finally, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and notification bell so you don't miss uh, any future builds, videos or anything with this motherboard. So stay tuned, hopefully see you very soon. Bye bye.